Hello, everyone. This is the most magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I'm back at it with another character review. And this character review will be on Gold Mythic Shamrock Sandra. Honestly, it puts me in the mind of a shamrock shake. One of those sounds about good right about now. But anyway, not only are we going to be going over the character review, I'm also going to be going over every one of the items also in the gray market associated with the Leprechaun event or whatever it's called. I'm just going to call it the Leprechaun event because, I mean, it's centered around St. Patty's Day. And before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing all right, and I'm staying safe for the most part. And yes, I do know that the Rick and Michonne spinoff, I know that has officially came on, and I haven't talked about it. I haven't seen the episode yet, and it's killing me not... I, I, I just haven't had... I haven't had the time to watch it yet, but I hear for I hear from people that have watched it. I hear the episode is really good. And honestly, I haven't seen it yet and not even seen it yet. I'm not shocked to hear that, especially with Andrew Lincoln back. His acting ability is top notch, even in a so so Walking Dead episode. He'll be one of the best things about it, no doubt about it, but <laughs> I really need to get to watching it because I I do want to talk about it, but anyway, let's not waste any more time. Oh, one more thing. I put up a poll, and if you guys want to really see me go back and do the other characters, uh, character reviews I missed... Just let me know down in the comments because I can go back and do them or I can just skip them entirely. I'm down to do whatever, but I know the ones I missed are defensive characters, so just feel free to vote or let me know because I'll do either either or. But enough of me wasting time. Let's uh let's go ahead and get started with this character review, shall we? Shamrock Sandra Saviors Her trait is strong, her role is a tank, and her allegiance is a member of the Saviors. Let's take a look at her stats. Her attack stat is 6,888. Her defense is is 25,829 and her HP is 24,681. Now let's take a look at her adrenaline rush. Unfortunate defense. The recharge rate is 55 AP, so that's faster than most gold mythics. Three other teammates get Guardian Shield with equal odds either deal 15% of this fighter's defense as damage to a line of enemies or 25% of this fighter's defense as damage to a single enemy instead. Um, I'm gonna be totally honest. The only thing I like about this Adrenaline Rush, and it's sort of okay, I like the fact that teammates are getting Guardian Shield, but it isn't to the whole team, so that's kind of a positive, but a negative as well. I don't know, you know, like I said, the other characters I have missed on are defensive characters, and... I don't know. Part of me is glad I didn't talk about them. I, I mean, I looked at them. Don't get me wrong. Even if I didn't go over them, I kind of took a peek at 
there are adrenaline rushes and such, and I mean, really, Scopely, another defensive character. What is this like? The fourth? Yeah, this is the fourth or fifth defensive character in a row. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? But anyway, and Sandra is a part of the event. So, that's even especially worse, in my opinion. So, with equal odds, you will either deal 15% of this fighter's defense as damage to a line of enemies, or you'll be doing a little bit more damage only to a single enemy. I don't... I mean, I guess in a certain situation it could be alright, but I'm just not loving it. Like I said, I, I, you know, the Shamrock Shake sounds about really good right now. Probably better than this character review if I'm, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. But, you know, I'm not McLovin' this adrenaline rush. <laughs> not at all. I just, I think it's okay. I mean... I don't know, maybe it might be better than it is presented on paper, but I'm just not, I'm not liking it. Nah, not really. I mean, people have been complaining about another defensive character, but yet you come out with another defensive character, people are going to continue to complain. And, I mean, can you blame them? I mean, the Adrenaline Rush, um, the Guardian Shield part, it's okay, but I'm not a fan of it, honestly. Maybe it'll get better, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's move on to the signature move. Lucky Charm. The initial cooldown is one is turn one. Zero turns for the cooldown. Okay, that's interesting. With equal odds and also number of uses unlimited, with equal odds, either taunt two random enemies for one turn or all other teammates get focus for one turn. This fighter gets elusive for three turns, deal one damage to self. Okay. I sort of like the signature move a little bit better than the Adrenaline Rush, but, you know, if y'all was to ask me, would I be going for this character? So far, I would say no. I'm just not... <laughs> Usually I like to go for the event characters if I can, but this is one I might actively just not even try to get, honestly, and just hope that the Easter... Uh, event has a better character but I mean I don't know but I'm thinking too far ahead I do like the uh, the fact that you can taunt that you will you can with equal odds to either taunt two enemies for one turn or all other teammates get focus for one turn it kind of sucks it's only for one turn but I like it a little bit better than than the Adrenaline Rush, but what's up with the deal one damage to self? I don't get that so far. I'm just like, why would anybody want to go for Sandra? I don't know. I'm just, it, it's, she's nothing special so far. I don't know. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this character review because I am going to talk about the gray market stuff as well, so... I like the signature move a little bit better, but it is still kind of mid. I really am not a fan of the Adrenaline Rush, so I'm kind of so-so on both of them. So let's get to her mythic abilities. Strength. 40% critical hit resistance. Well, if you are going to go for the character, Strength, I would go ahead and level that one up all the way. Bloody odds. When being attacked by an enemy with taunt, with equal odds, either reflect 50% of the damage dealt or apply 25% of this fighter's defense as bleed damage for two turns to the attacker. Okay, so honestly, I think bloody odds 
this is, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but so far I'm liking Bloody Odds a lot better than I am the Adrenaline Rush or the Signature Move. Although the signature move will help with this, but there is a downside to that. What if you don't have an enemy that's taunted? That's the only negative, but I like that you can either... I like the fact that either 50% of the damage dealt will be reflected, or you, know, you will apply 25% of her defense as bleed damage... I like that so far because she has a uh, pretty high defense. So, so far, that's the best thing about her kit right now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not too interested in the character. I'm not even going to try to uh, pronounce that. At the start of each turn, 100% chance to taunt a random enemy for one turn plus one duration if this fighter has a negative status effect. Okay, so this mythic ability already makes bloody odds. It's going to work well with it together because if you level up the third mythic ability, at the start of each turn, there's a 100% chance that you can taunt an enemy, a random enemy for one turn, but that's going to keep going for every turn. So I really do like that. So far, I'm loving, well, I should say I'm liking the signature move and the second and third mythic abilities. They're going to work really well together. I think they're much better than the Adrenaline Rush, and that is, I mean, to me, I'm not really liking this character all too much. But the signature move, bloody odds, and the third mythic ability, I think are going to work really well together. So I probably would level them up. Chanced recovery at the start of each turn, 100% chance with equal odds that either this fighter or two other teammates recover from all debilitating status effects. Um, I probably would go ahead and level this one up, especially if you're planning on getting her. I, I don't know if I would recommend getting this character. I'm just not, I'm not into, I'm not too much into the character. I don't, I don't know. I'm getting gray just talking about her. The last time I got gray talking about a character was, uh, what the, what was her name? I, Anyway, it don't matter. I'm getting kind of gray talking about her, but we're going to wrap it up kind of soon. So, if you want to go for chanced recovery, you, uh, you know, that might not be such a bad idea. So far, I think the best thing about her are her mythic abilities, as crazy as that sounds. I'm so so leaning toward thinking she's not as good but I guess we'll see let's talk about her specialist skill Indomitable Indomitable 2 while not stunned whenever this fighter takes damage they gain 40% defense in addition to any existing defense increases including prior activations of this skill Reset resets at the end of two turns. At the start of combat, they gain 40% defense for the first two turns of combat. So if you got like really good defensive weapons, especially on her and other teammates, I mean, it is going to be harder to take her down, but eventually you will be able to take her down. Indomitable 2... You know what, I don't care that if I'm saying it right or wrong, uh, who gives a crap. But anyway, the point is, with this specialist skill, it's going to be just a little bit harder to take her down, which can be a good thing, honestly. So far, I'm really liking the specialist skill and the mythic abilities, if you want my honest opinion. The active skill, 
the special, the active skill, or what's it called? The, the sh signature move. The signature move in Adrenaline Rush is like so-so in my opinion. And she has a default weapon, which you can put whatever you want into her hands. And there is a weapon we're going to go over, which maybe could work for her, but we'll see. So... I don't know. You 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 guys know my thoughts on Shamrock Sandra. What are your thoughts on Gold Mythic Shamrock Sandra? Let me know down in the comments. I like the look of her. The artwork is kind of interesting, but uh, to me, that's all that's going on for her. I don't know. Okay, now let's get to the rest of the items in the Gray Market Leprechaun event. First up, we have the weapon that you can go for, Shamrock Sandra's Shillelagh, I think I'm saying that right, it looks like a Shillelagh, okay, 40% defense, a huge bonus to AP when being attacked, luck of the Irish, at the start of each wave, with equal odds, Either all teammates get camouflage for two turns, or all enemies get 10% of this fighter's defense as burn damage for two turns. HP and defense boost. This fighter and all adjacent teammates get 15% max HP and 15% defense. So, this weapon is obviously going to only work with a very defensive character, and for Sandra, it actually might work. The 40% defense, okay, that's good. Huge bonus to AP when being attacked. That, honestly, for this character, I think that's actually pretty good. And then, Luck of the Irish, so at the start of each wave... See, this is where I see it as a negative. It would be better if it was at the start of each turn. It would make this weapon a lot better, but the fact that it's only happening at the start of each wave, it's kind of, uh, but, okay. With equal odds, either all teammates, so pretty much either all of your teammates will get camouflage or all enemies will get 10% of her of her defense as burn damage for two turns so I mean two good things are happening but the only thing about that is you don't know which one is gonna happen and especially if you're going up say if you're going up against a peacekeeper team but what happens if you don't get that camouflage which they will get burn damage but after that two turns is up, then what? That weapon is useless, essentially. So, you do have your ne your positives and negatives when it comes to this weapon. So, I mean, it would be a whole lot better if it was each turn instead of each wave. But that might have been a little bit too powerful for Scopely to release without somebody having to go bankrupt for the weapon and plus let's see we have this fighter and all adjacent teammates get 15% max HP and 15% defense I mean the defense and HP percentages could have been higher I'm not gonna lie even if they only went up to 30 each that would have just been a little bit better I don't know what are what are your thoughts what are your thoughts on this weapon? I mean, this weapon is both good and bad, but I don't know. For fifteen hundred um, four leaf clovers, I, that's kind of a lot. That's kind of a lot for a RNG weapon. I don't know. I would need a guaranteed before. I would need a guaranteed on something in the third slot like that for me to say it's worth it and then for shamrock sandra you can get her all five copies for 400 four leaf clovers a piece 
Now, let's move on for you avatar lovers. You have a you actually have a pretty cool avatar. I actually quite like this avatar. Irish Walker Avatar St. Patty's Day 2024. So you got a zombie leprechaun with a pot of gold and a mug of I'm assuming whiskey. It's either whiskey or beer. Too bad the whiskey isn't like green, but it's still a cool avatar. Honestly, um, if you were to ask me, I would honestly consider me personally, this is one event, I would actually pick the avatar over the character. You never hear me say that. But this is the event. I'm not so I'm not so sold on the character. Honestly, I think I'd pick the avatar instead, me personally, but uh, what are your thoughts on the avatar? Now we have some Paragon mods. Ooh, let's see. First up, we have a Graze Paragon mod defensive set. I mean, if you want to get it, get it. I'm not I don't know. I'm not too sold on it. I'm not sure. Does anyone even use Gray's mods? I'm not too sure. Now let's take a look at the next one. We have a defense versus strong Paragon mod defensive set. This one, honestly, that one might be really good. I think it'd be more worth the pickup. I would pick it up if you need a defense versus strong Paragon mod. I think it could come in real good use, honestly. Let's take a look at this Paragon mod. We have Taunt Resist Paragon mod. Okay, that one is actually pretty good. I think it might be a little bit better than the last one for sure, but the second and third Paragon mods are worth the pickup. Honestly, if you want my opinion. Now, let's take a look. Okay, ooh, this one, HP Paragon mod. Okay, this one would definitely be worth a pickup. It wouldn't be a bad pickup at all. Even if you're going to put the mod on someone else, it's still worth the pickup if you can get it. Now let's take a look at the last Paragon mod. Uh-oh, a mystery Paragon mod. All right, if you want to step up to the casino and gamble and take a dice and take a roll at the dice, here you go. Here's Here it is. You can pick up a mystery mod. You can either pick up a really good one or a really crappy one. So why not take a chance, sit down at the table, and roll the dice, and take a chance. You never know what will happen. No thanks, I'm good on the mystery Paragon mods. So I would say the HP mod is pretty good. The taunt resist, and the defense versus strong. I think they are definitely the best ones to pick up. And you can pick up all of those mods for 254 leaf clover so 500 apiece next up we have some TWD gold medal so you could probably let's see I can't remember the exact number but if you can get enough of the four leaf clovers you can pick up you can pick up 20,000 gold medals it might not be a bad pickup, honestly, because they are very scarce to get unless you shell out for them or compete hard in events. Even then, being first place never gives you 20,000 gold medals. <laughs> so 20,000 gold medals here, honestly, it might be worth it. Now we have the gear metal bag and it's all gold medals all gold gear medals and honestly I would probably pick them up because they are hard to come by so the gear metal bags would definitely be worth the pickup if you can so that would be 800 
four leaf clovers if you want to get all eight of them. First, next up, I should say, next up we have the Silver Choice Tokens. And honestly, they are needed, so if you can pick them up, I probably would, especially if you need them. Then we have some bennies, and as you can see, I have over 500 bennies. But if you need bennies, this is a good place to go ahead and pick them up for the next, uh, next month. Then we have the purple trainers. I would definitely recommend picking them up because they don't want to hand them out all that much except for events. So the purple trainers are definitely worthwhile to pick up. And also the blue trainers, they are worthwhile to pick up as well. So, yep, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for today. And what are your thoughts on Gold Mythic Shamrock Sandra? Do you think she's a good character? And are you planning on pulling for her? I mean, do you planning are you planning on picking her up? Or are you planning on not picking her up? And what are your reasons for wanting to pick her up or for not wanting to pick her up? Let me know down in the comments. And are you planning on picking up the Shillelagh? And if you are picking if you are planning on picking up the Shillelagh, let me know why or let me know why you're not planning on picking up the Shillelagh. And what are your thoughts on the Irish Walker avatar? I think besides the Paragon mods, I really like the avatar this time around. I'm probably going to try to pick up the avatar if I can. That's rare. You never hear me say that. But this time, in my personal opinion, I'm probably going to pick up the avatar if I can. And what are your thoughts on all of the Paragon mods, the TWD gold medals, the gear metal bags, the silver choice tokens, and what are your overall thoughts on all of the items in the gray market and the event as as over as the event overall? Sorry, I can't talk. It is late for me, but Simply, what are your thoughts on the character, the weapon, the avatar, and all of the other goodies you can get in this event? Let me know down below. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and for your continued support. Or, if you're new, welcome in for the first time. All of you are very awesome, and I thank you again. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.